Hi and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh and in this tutorial I'm going to go through your most valuable 3D modelling trick for VFX. So I've got Maya open and I've got this shot open that I've done previously and I did go through and use this trick before in that previous tutorial but I'm going to do a whole quick video on this because you, if you haven't watched this one you're probably going to miss it. So I want to keep this really quick so you can sort of get the idea of what I'm doing. So Let's pretend we've got this shot, we've um, got it all matched moved into our footage and so we've got our animated camera here and this is mainly because in VFX a lot of the time you work with footage and plates so when you have to model something yeah you can model this building quite easily from a um, just from the origin it's fairly fairly simple but then trying to place this in the correct depth is actually quite surprisingly difficult and um, placing things in depth is one of the most important things in VFX because if you can't get it in the correct depth everything's going to look wrong so not only this is like the most valuable modeling trick for sort of VFX but also placement and layout and stuff like that so this trick goes throughout a lot of VFX and a lot of people don't know it so just knowing this will just probably help you a lot anyway because you've probably been at that time had those times where you need to put something in shot but every time you put it in somewhere like here you can't get the geometry so if we just make a cube and something this is this is very rough so like imagine you were just doing something like this and you want to fit it in yeah, and you can do it like this, but then you'll sort of see why it doesn't work. And you want to get that sort of perfect, but... And you scale it up. I'll be very annoyed if this fits straight away, by the way, because <laughs> it's not supposed to. This is supposed to be an example of it not working. So let's just say... Because we can't get that to work because we're not in the right depth, but let's pretend that's there. So now, if we just look for our timeline, we can see that it's not working and you can be like oh let's just move it that way oh no it's broken and you're going backwards and forwards because you can't find the depth of the shot so this is why this is the probably one of the most important tools that you're going to be able to use and it will help you so much it's unbelievable so first of all i'm just going to go to my perspective oh sorry and tear off a copy so i can see my camera here i'm just going to go to my panels and perspective and the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make a locator. So I'm going to create a locator. And this isn't just for Maya. This is for any 3D software. I use Maya all the time. It's just what I work in. And this will work in any software as long as you've got a good camera track and you can make a locator. So why can't I see that? The locator's turned off. We'll go all the so we have got locators from the camera tracks, but we're going to pretend that we don't have any. So I've got my locator here. And I'm just going to scale this down. And I have no idea where this is in depth. So I'm actually going to move it in my camera view. I'm going to start on the first frame. You can start on any frame. But I'm going to start on the first frame. And I'm going to move my locator in my camera view. So it's quite important that you try to line it up in your camera view first. Then I'm just going to try and line it up to that corner. You can pick anything you want. We're going to try and do some of these. Um, but you'll get it after like a couple, a couple of tries. And you'll realise how useful it is. So I've lined this up. So now the next thing that I need to do is change the pivot point of this. So I'm going to press insert. I'm going to hold V for snap or whatever software you're using. It will be exactly the same in uh, everything else. I'm going to snap it to the camera. So now the orientation for this locator is on the camera. I'm going to turn that off. So now if I look in... Ooh. Why is that done that? Sorry, let's undo that. So if I look in my camera view, I can see... That's probably good. That my locator is nowhere near it. It's sliding off. And it's rubbish. It's absolutely a waste of time. So 
now I'm going to go to my scale tool. I'm going to scrub through my timeline. And I don't want to go all the way to the end because it's quite a large rotation. I just want a, some, a fairly decent amount of movement. So I'm just going to go to like frame 1130. And now I'm going to scale this locator. And I keep scaling it until it meets back up at this point. And now you can see we've roughly got it here. So now if we scrub through our timeline, this locator is now following that point. And now if we continue through, we can see it comes off a very tiny bit. The answer, we're just going to scale it a tiny bit again. So that's on. Now if we look through our camera, zoom room, we've now found the depth for that corner. So now we know exactly where that is. We can actually start to model, but what we can just do all four of these corners, all three, and that's going to help us so much. So I'm going to create another locator, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Scale up so I can see it. Now I'm going to pick this corner. I'm going to zoom in so I can see it. And then I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to press insert or change my pivot point and snap it to my camera. Turn it off. Then I'm going to scrub through my timeline to about the same thing. I think it was 11.30. And I'm going to scale this in until it meets that corner again. So now when I scrub through my timeline, I can see now that locator is following it perfectly. So it's come off slightly, so I'm going to scale it just slightly again. So now if I scrub through my timeline. I've now got two locators that perfectly line up with those corners, and they're in the correct depth. So whatever I model here is going to fit perfectly. So you can sort of see how this is going to be quite a, very, a useful tool for you. We'll just do this one last corner. Create locator. Just gonna scale it up so I can see it. I want this to be a very quick tutorial. So I'm just gonna line it up there. Press insert, hold V to snap. I'm just gonna do the same again. I'm gonna scrub to eleven thirty. R, scale it in till it meets. Scrub through. So it just comes off a little bit. Come on. And now if I scrub through my timeline, I can see now I've got these three locators in perfect depth. So if I make a cube, let's just scale it up. So now, instead of guessing and trying to get it in as close as possible, I can just snap my pivot point to here, to one of the corners, snap it to a corner. So I can now use these locators as a reference point for modeling. So I'm just going to rotate it around until it meets that locator. And then I can scale it down. There, I can just check both sides. Oh, sorry, it's quite difficult to see. So, we've got it lined up with that one. Probably could do a slight rotation up, it's probably not perfectly straight. Now, let's scale this down roughly to about there. And I'm just going to select this face and, and scale it in. Bring this down and just try and make these edges line up as best as I can. I, or I could just make I could make more locators for here, but I just want to show you how quick and easy this is. And here we have we've we've modelled that perfectly in depth and it's and it's fitting pretty much perfectly. So that's just using these locator tricks. So this is just gonna be a quick tutorial, so yeah. It's um Fairly quick and easy, and it's probably going to be your most valuable 
skill that you know for like modeling into shots. So I hope you enjoy this really short and quick tutorial. It's a lot shorter than my hour long ones. So um, yeah, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.